Hello, it's Chris from My Stamp Lady, and I am here with the Stitched All Around Bundle. So it's this stamp set with this coordinating die set. And this die set has two sides and 10 dies. One thing I really like about this die set is it has a lot of labels. So you can stamp right in there, you can layer the labels, you can do some different things. This is a texture piece, it doesn't actually cut out. It just adds a little bit of texture and some edges here. I'm gonna be showing you a couple of really quick and simple card ideas that you can do with this, and I've also paired it with the layering ovals dies. So the first one we're gonna do is this card here, and it's a special day. This has been one of my favorite stamp sets for weddings. I love this sentiment, enjoy your special day. You could also use it for birthdays, you could use it for any day, graduation, anything that could be a special time. So I am inking up my stamp set, the Enjoy Your Special Day, and we'll just stamp that down and up on the Whisper White cardstock. And then this is that oval die, so I'm going to layer this on here and run this through my die cutting machine. Okay, so after that's come out, I've done some things ahead, um, just some basic die cutting, and if you have any questions about what I've done ahead of time, be sure to just ask. So this is the die from that stitched all around or the stitched label framelits and I've run it through a die cutting machine and cut it out. This is petal pink cardstock and I'm taking the petal pink ink and one of the sponge daubers and I am going to just add a little bit of color around the edge and I like how this highlights when you layer this over your background it's going to pop out a bit more. Next, I'm going to mount that oval piece, that stamped sentiment, right onto that fancy label. I've taken another piece of the petal pink cardstock. I've run it through my die cutting machine with the Parisian Flourish embossing folder. And so then I have this lovely texture to it. I have a length of the petal pink striped organdy ribbon. So let's see, we can first of all figure out where I want that piece. And I'm gonna set that right about there. So we'll just put this down. Wrap the ends to the back side here. I'll take a little bit of liquid glue and put this down. Added dimensionals to the back side just to give it a little bit of lift and we'll pop that down. So I've tied this length of ribbon into a bow. I'm going to take a mini glue dot and just put a mini glue dot on the back side of that and glue that down. So it's kind of a faux bow looking like it's wrapped through and it's actually not. So with the pearl jewels, I'm gonna just take one of the larger ones, we'll set that there and then I'm gonna move down to a size, I'm adding a little bit of interest to my card front here. And that's it. Look at how quick that comes together. It's staying with the same stamp set, I'm using actually the same frame, and I've cut that out and the ovals, and I'm using the Oh Darling, You Are Fabulous. I thought that saying was pretty fun, and I thought it would pair nicely with the Best Dressed Designer Series paper. So I've taken a piece of this and cut it down to go onto my cardstock base. And let's pull that paper back in here. I'm going to use my lovely lipstick ink because that color is in the paper. So just inking up that Oh Darling. Take an oval from those layering ovals and cut this out. Now I have a piece of the Pretty Peacock. This is one of the scalloped ovals from that same die set. And we will just layer that. Pull in that background piece. I've used the same frame die and die cut a lovely lipstick frame to layer this sentiment onto. And then this time I'm putting this right down on my cardstock front here. I have a length of the metallic silver edged ribbon and I'm just going to lay this across. Now this time I'm putting my ribbon in between my two layers here. But we're still going to just wrap the ends to the back side and let's put down some adhesive. I have my card base. 
I think this card will be a lot of fun to send out. Okay, so I've added dimensionals to the back side of the sentiment. So I have it still lifted, but this time I have the ribbon going in between. So it's going to have just a slight different look to it. And just like last time, I've already tied my bow and we will just take a mini glue dot off of there and let's just put that bow right in there. Here's a little little secret for you. Um, sometimes those ribbon tails don't go exactly or stay exactly how I want them to stay. Mini glue dots are perfect for putting them in their place. So if I want that to come over just a little bit, there we go. Just like the other card, I'm going to finish up this card with some of the jewels, but this time I'm using the rhinestones instead of the pearls. It just draws your eye around the front. I have a couple of super quick cards. I made these with that label. One fun thing about those stitch labels, get your focal piece, get your background. This one's embossed, this is designer series paper, and there you go. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel and be sure to click on that bell to get notifications.